You've got to appreciate your opportunities in life, even when life knocks you down. For Mizzou Dining Hall cashier Howie Ambrose, he doesn't think about his lung disease or his oxygen tank or the transplant waiting list he's on. He thinks about the next opportunity to cheer someone up. Congratulations on a fantastic, wonderful, awesome picture. You know, anything to, you know, give them a boost and encouragement in any way, shape, and form is uh, kind of what I uh, enjoy doing for them. Suffering from a cardiopulmonary disease that requires a double lung transplant, Howie just keeps showing up for work and showing his enthusiasm. Thanks, Howie. He's someone that, that no matter what you're going through, how practice was, how meetings were, whatever, when you go into the dining halls, it's a place to escape from that, and he's the first step to that. Seeing Howie, a guy that shows up each and every day with a positive mindset, always talking to whoever comes in the door, happy. Hey, hey good morning. How you doing? He's built relationships with student athletes in every Mizzou sport, providing inspiration. He doesn't talk about himself. He doesn't worry about himself. He he puts everybody else first, and uh, you know that that just builds into the ca to the culture that uh, everyone's trying to create here. How his energy simply permeates everything he does, from interviews. Are we ready? Are you guys ready for this? Huh? To his everyday interactions in the Sells family dining hall. I don't know. I I just wing it. I think, you know. <laughs> but no, I mean I, I just try to keep things as positive as they can be for all the you know ups and downs that I go through. During his illness, Howie has developed the coolest hobby. He's always loved to sing, and even though his lung disease makes it difficult to breathe, he wanted to inspire others and feel like himself again. So he started singing the national anthem at various Mizzou sporting events. Oxygen tank and all, he belted out the anthem all over campus. And like any good showman, always ended with a flourish. It's quite a rush. It can be once you hit the land of the free and the home of the free. I mean, in, the, in that part where you're hitting the land of the free and you get the crowd going, I think that's what kind of leads, leads toward the big finish. I want a sense of normalcy and I, I want a sense of being able to accomplish something and, you know, working here at the Mad Sea and doing anthems and that sort of thing is uh, something I look forward to and enjoy quite a bit. In the meantime, Howie's going to keep singing, keep smiling, and keep waiting for that call that his double lung transplant is ready. I, I, I can't think of anything more humbling than to be saved by someone who chose to be an organ donor. He's someone that, that deserves it, and, and honestly, uh, he's someone that this, this world needs. Financial strain is an all too familiar reality for people like Howie who are fighting life-threatening illness and that will only increase for the Ambrose family once Howie has surgery and is unable to work during his rehabilitation. If you have the means and are able to help, please visit helphopelive.org. There you will find a fundraising campaign for Howie and his family.